Today I'm going to share with you my experience using a single edge razor for the last month. I'm Justin and this is 30 Day Reviews. Before I get into this video, I want you guys to know that this is not a review on the Naked Armor Shavette that I've been using. Because I don't think that it's fair to review a product for you guys that I am not proficient with and comfortable with using. And this, I'm not even close to being proficient with it yet, so this review will be coming in the future. Now for learning how to use a shavette or a single edge razor, I do have to say that this has been a fairly good learning experience and kind of a frustrating one at the same time. See, I think I've got down the upper jaw, the cheek, and even the lower jaw portion while I'm shaving. As you can see, I can do it fairly quickly and fairly confidently without feeling like I'm always gonna cut myself at every stroke. And I can do that fairly easily on both sides of my face. However, where I'm still having some trouble, and I get a cheat, guys. I don't have to do the upper lip or the chin area because of my beard. So really, I'm getting off easy with learning how to do this. And I'm still having a little bit of an issue. Now, some guys are going to pick up on this a whole lot quicker than I probably am. However, I find that my complicated areas are right where the cheek or the lower jaw becomes the neck. I'm having a trouble with getting that. And it seems like my left side is a little bit harder to get than my right. And I don't know if that's just because I'm not used to using my left hand to shave like that and putting it at those angles or if it's just that I'm right-handed so therefore everything on my right side goes easier. I have found that I can shave some of the left side of my face using my right hand fairly easily. However, other parts, it just doesn't work for me. Now, I have learned that if I go down with the razor first and then I go kind of back from certain from the about the middle of the face back to my ear that I can get a fairly good and close shave. Now I have to admit I have not tried to go against the grain yet with this because quite frankly I don't think that's a good idea for me to do yet because I'm pretty sure I'll cut myself pretty bad. Speaking of cutting myself, I actually did fairly well. Any nicks that I did get during this last month, I was able to stop very quickly with a simple stepdick stick, and they all were very minor, small cuts, and were all healed within a couple of hours. Now, how often did I actually nick myself? Well, that'd probably be about four or five shaves in the last month. One of them, I'll admittedly, I was in way too big of a hurry, and I had just replaced or used a new blade so therefore I wasn't paying as close attention as I probably should have been and I got the three little nicks on one side of my neck. Now in the video that I did my first shave in I told you guys that it was gonna be really hard because I couldn't really see what I was doing in the mirror. Well I found out as long as I'm not paying attention to what the camera can see I can sort of get a view in the mirror by turning my head a little bit more and kind of getting my hand out of the way. So that definitely helped me right away on my second shave because I wasn't worrying about a camera being in the way. And of course the frustrating part like I said a couple minutes ago is that I'm having a hard time around the neck area where the jaw becomes the neck and also down here by the Adam's apple. I don't know why, for some reason it just seems like it's hard for me to get the right angle or an angle that I feel comfortable with right away when I first start shaving. So that part I definitely go quite a bit slower on. And of course getting the whole left hand shaving thing down is not the easiest thing for me yet. Now will I continue to use the Shavette to shave with in the future? Well, as I stated, I'm not comfortable enough with it yet to do a review for you guys, so I will be using this in the future. However, it's going to be taking a month break. I hope you guys like this update on my shaving experience with a single edge razor. If you guys missed my first time shaving video, make sure to check out the video up here. Down below that's going to be a video or playlist that you'll probably enjoy as well. 
Until next time, as always, you have a good one.